Good morning, students. How are you all? In last session, in the chapter number seven, where a computer stored data, we have gone through the topic hard disk, memory card, and CD and DVD. Right? Today we will go through the topic pen drive. A pen drive is also called a flash drive. It helps you store data and carry the data with you. It is easy to use and small enough to be carried in your pocket. It can store more data than a CD or a DVD. Right. Here is a pen drive. The pen drive will also look like this. It is a small disk. Right. It is small and it is known as flash drive. It is portable. You can carry this anywhere wherever you wherever you go it's very small and easily can be carried in your pockets also right it can store nowadays uh, this uh, dvd uh, sorry this pen drive is used most widely in the world right why do uh, why do we use uh, what is why this dv uh, sorry this pen drive is used mostly because because of its capacity, it can store more data. This pen drive has the capacity of 16 GB. It is mentioned here 16 GB up to 16 GB data you can store in this pen drive. Likewise, you have 32 GB, uh, GB pen drive, 64 GB pen drive, 124 GB pen drive and many more. Uh, uh, it depends on the capacity of the pen drive. Right, and it has many brands other than SanDisk, HP, and many other brands it, it could have. Right, a pen drive is also it is also known as a flash drive, and it helps us to store data and carry data with you. You can store all your data in this pen drive, and wherever you go, you can take along with you, and uh, you can watch whatever video, uh, videos, pictures you have stored in this. If you are uh, if you are in Jamnagar and you want to show all these data to the person or to your relatives in another city, you can store all that data in the send in this pen drive and take with you, and you can see wherever you will go, right? So this is very helpful for us, and this is most widely used storage device in our computer. Computer manners. So here are some manners uh, while handling a computer, right? Do not handle CDs or DVDs carelessly. They may get corrupted or damaged and may not work properly. Keep them carefully in the case so that you do not lose data. So uh, there, there are some manners how to use the CDs and DVDs, right? Now look at there. Uh, CDs generally have some shiny portion on one side of it right and if you will uh, handle them very carelessly they will get scratched and after getting scratched they may get corrupted or damaged so whatever you have stored in your cd you can't get that data or uh, you can't access that data properly or either you will lose it or it will have some problem while commissioning that data right so it is it will be very hard for you to access whatever data you have stored in your cds or dvds if you handle them very carelessly so it is very necessary to handle them carefully you should always keep them in the case that is provided for the cds and the dvds so here ends your chapter go through this chapter this is very important chapter as in this chapter we will we have gone through that where our data gets stored when we type when we save anything in our computer right thank you